Hey, what's up everybody? So today's video is one that has been requested so many times and I've had so many questions about the subject and that is YouTube copyright. How do you get around it? How do you post covers? How do you make money on YouTube? How do you make money posting covers? There's so many questions and today I want to share what knowledge that I have from my five years of YouTube to hopefully help you guys do the same and make some money or post covers on YouTube, whatever it is you wanna do. Now, the first thing I wanted to tell you guys is that today's video is sponsored by Graphic Stock and their royalty-free music subscription service called Audioblocks. And why that's cool and why it matters to this video and this subject is because royalty-free music is your ticket to getting around YouTube copyright and to really enable yourself to make money on videos with music in it. YouTubers like myself, we use royalty-free music and we deal with the headaches when we don't. And so, um, I recently started using the Audioblocks subscription service and they have one of the largest libraries out there with over 100,000 tracks, loops, sound effects, music, you name it. They got all sorts of different things in all sorts of different genres. And so, that allows you to really pick out whatever it is, whatever style, whatever sound, whatever feel you want in the track and in the video that you're working on. You also have a brand new set of hundreds of sci-fi and fantasy related um, tracks and loops and sound effects that they just put out that come with your subscription. And if you want to try it out, you can click the link in the top of the description. They have a free seven day trial that you can click the link or you can go to audioblocks.com future. Now, let me talk a little bit about why royalty free music helps and what it is that makes the difference in your videos and in the YouTube copyright issue. All right, so let me cut right to the chase and say yes, you can make money on YouTube. You guys know that, you've heard it before, you know that you can make money on YouTube. But being a musician, it's a lot harder because I get the question every day, how do I play drum covers and make money? Because everyone looks at my YouTube channel and thinks that I do drum covers and I make lots and lots of money. And I wish that I could tell you, yes, you just post up drum covers and you get a million views on the drum cover and you become a millionaire. But no, unfortunately that's not how it works and unfortunately you don't get to make money when you play drums on top of someone else's song or you play guitar on top of someone else's song or um, you sing on top of someone else's song. If you have the original audio of that song in your video, you cannot make money on the video because YouTube copyright will find it, it will classify it, even if you pitch change it, which is what I do a lot of times to help keep it from being blocked, they will still find it in the video almost every single time. And so you cannot sit down and think to yourself, like I'm gonna do drum covers of this record label songs or this band songs and make money doing that. But one thing that you can do is that you can use those videos to build up your channel and to provide entertaining content, but then you can also create material that is your own. And what you can do that is your own is all sorts of different things. And so you see videos like this, where I am talking to a camera, I'm telling you about a subject, where I'm teaching you something, but you hear music in the background. And you may think to yourself, well, if you can't have that music in other videos, why can you have that music in this video? And so what's different here is the music that I'm using is royalty free music. All of this music is from audio blocks. You pay for the subscription, um, or you, you download the song, and then you're able to put it in the background of your video or make it the forefront of your video. It doesn't have to be the background. Um, it can be a feature. And so the cool thing about royalty-free music is that you can use it to set the mood. They have it in all sorts of different styles, all sorts of different genres, all sorts of different um, feelings and emotions. You can search for it, like by emotion. You can like search like feeling, like I want it sad or I want it happy or I want it uh, angry, you know? And so that's what a lot of filmmakers use when you're making a video and on YouTube it's no different. You know, if I want a happy feel for my vlog, I'll go and get a royalty free track that's happy. Um, if I want like a crazy fast feel, like if I'm doing a, a time lapse, like you see a time lapse of me putting symbols on my kit, I do something that's like electro or fast or, or bouncy or crazy and <laughs> You know, those different types of royalty free music allow you to create moods and atmospheres and make your video more interesting without actually having to deal with the fact that it's copyright. And so a lot of people want to put up a slideshow of pictures or want to put up a video of their trip. 
but they use an artist's song that is copyrighted and that is um, not royalty free. You know, you, you would normally have to, if you really wanted to use one of like a big band song in your video, you'd have to pay a mechanical license for every single view. And so um, it gets crazy and it's not easy to do. And that's why YouTube has that hands off approach of like, well, if it's there, um, if it's their song in your video, then you just can't make money on it. And it's really frustrating for people like myself when my drum cover is my drumming, my editing, um, my audio, my video. Um, the only thing that I don't own, like even the audience, the people that come to watch it are all people who follow what I do. Um, so I, I put all the work into it and I do all the sharing of it. And then the record label or the artist makes every single bit of the money from that video. And that's, that's just how it is. And so that's why I really wanted to sit down and hopefully answer a few questions about um, the subject. So maybe you guys can, can make some of that money that you're losing because um, it's not easy to make a lot of money on YouTube. Um, I certainly don't make a lot of money on YouTube, but I make enough to support my family through that and through things outside of YouTube. Um, but that is the key, is royalty-free music. And so there are also other ways to um, at least get past YouTube copyright. You know, I mentioned pitch changing before. Um, if you want to post a drum cover of a song that you really, really want to do a drum cover of, but it's blocked, you can pitch change it. And so what that means, I use the software Audacity. Um, it's a free download and all you do is put the song in there and you click uh, pitch change and it changes pitch without changing tempo. And that's what's important because some people when they change the pitch, they change the tempo and then the song feels really weird. I usually pitch drop it 10%. Um, I think that sounds the least weird most of the time. I don't love doing it. I wish I didn't have to, but that's kind of a way to usually, uh, YouTube will still find it almost every single time. YouTube will still know it's there. It will still say copyrighted material in your video, but when it's pitch changed, it isn't the original track um, or it doesn't sound like the original track. And so YouTube and the record labels usually allow for it to be on YouTube without having any sort of restrictions. And so when you're using someone else's song that they own the rights to, that is, um, there's really no way around the fact that they're going to get the revenue from your video on YouTube if they have it claimed. Now you could use like a friend song that they don't have registered in the system or a very, very unknown song and you might be able to get away with monetizing it. And sometimes even pitch changing it, you could get away with monetizing it. But uh, for the most part, it's kind of just like a straight across the board. If there's a copyright song in your video, you can't do it. And that, that is, that applies to everything. That's not just drum covers, it's slideshows, it's vlogs, it's beauty tutorials, it's gaming videos. Like you cannot use music that is not royalty free if you want to create a revenue stream on YouTube. And so that's why it's so important to understand that concept and really understand how it works into the videos. The only way to do covers and make money on them is doing full band covers. Um, and sometimes you can get away with it just by doing a full band cover, posting it on YouTube, and if they never find it, and they don't know that it's there, then you could make money on it. But for the most part, when you do a full band cover, you have to have a network or some sort of contract deal where you split the profits with the record label or the artist who wrote the song. And that's kind of how it works, like in the real world, the real music world, you know? If you're gonna do a cover song of someone else's track, you pay them a royalty for every single time that that is purchased. So say you make a dollar on the track, well, the royalty could be 50 cents to the artist or, or whatever it is. Um, I know there's, there's particular um, numbers on that. I just, I don't have them off the top of my head, but the concept is there. So if you really wanna do covers and you really wanna make money on your YouTube video covers, then you have to have a network that allows you to do that. And there, it's really, um, it's not as simple as it sounds. Like I've had networks tell me like, oh yeah, yeah, we can, we can make you money on your cover videos. And then they give me the fine print and it's like, oh yeah, if you do a full band cover of the song, then we can get you the visual rights to it. Or we can get you, um, we can possibly get you 10% of the cut. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, there's a little bit of money there. Uh, but another really important thing about this though, is that if you do a cover on YouTube, 
Maybe you can't make the money from that full band cover on YouTube very well without the right network and the right setup, but you can buy mechanical licenses for the song and sell the cover song like everyone else does. So like when your favorite band does a cover of your favorite song from another band, they get the mechanical license like I was saying and they pay that cut, that royalty to the original artist. And so you yourself can do the exact same thing. You can buy the licenses for the song and then you can sell the cover song and you can make money that way. And so it's indirectly that you make money through the cover song that you have done. And that is really um, the main way to make any sort of income from covers on YouTube besides the fact that um, it's building your audience. And for me, um, I don't know how often I've said this to you guys, but I don't do the YouTube videos because I make money. You know, I don't like, I don't make a, a bunch of money from putting up a cover of the latest uh, Green Day song or anything like that. In fact, I make pretty much zero dollars. Um, the only way I could ever make any money is if I had some sort of like sponsorship with the video or something, but that doesn't really happen. You know, it's only very infrequently that you have any sort of sponsorship with a drum cover or anything of that nature. And so um, really what I do those videos for is just, it's marketing. It's getting myself out there. It's finding people like yourself who have similar interests and want to watch the video and want to support me and you enjoy what I do. And so then, um, because of that, you'll come to a show or you'll buy a t-shirt or you'll um, like my Facebook page and my Instagram and then maybe you watch a video like this where I have that royalty free music in the background and I actually get to run some advertisements on it and I actually get to make a little money off of it. And so um, it really is, it's a bigger picture than it may seem. You know, you don't just upload a video as a musician and make tons of money. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't usually work that way, but if you play your cards right, if you play the game right, and if you build your audience and build your following and build that connection with those viewers, then you're able to create that revenue stream through other ways and through the opportunities that your YouTube channel has brought you. Now, if you wanted to make money off of a drum cover or any other type of cover with music in the background that you did not write, you actually can, you just have to use royalty-free music. And so you can go to Audioblocks and download one of those royalty-free tracks like I'm playing to and I have playing in the background of this video and you're able to play drums to it or play guitar to it or play bass to it or whatever it is, keys, you can even add vocals to it if there isn't vocals already. And um, you're able to do that and you can monetize it because it is that royalty-free track. Now, um, you know, you could, some of these songs actually have more room for drumming, so you can make like drum solos out of them or really uh, have creative drum lines added to them. You can actually find instrumental songs that don't have uh, drums in them as well, so you can add some of that to it and it can be a lot of fun for like a vlog for drumming or a guitar vlog or something to take a royalty free track and add your own playing to it and put it in the background like you hear within this video here. So that's a way to make some money. Now your performance of the video may vary depending on um, your playing because it's not one of those popular songs so people aren't searching for like Katy Perry drum cover, you know, they're not looking for Bruno Mars drum cover to find a royalty free track. So there is like a little bit of difference in popularity, but if your playing is really, really awesome and you have a following on your channel already, it would be very uh, easy for you to make at least some money off of a video like that um, compared to doing a normal drum cover where you can't make anything. So that is another pro to royalty free music and another reason to um, download the tracks, especially when you have so many to choose from, you're able to sit down and just have a lot of fun playing different grooves and learning the stylings and playing to even things like cinematic music or um, orchestral music. Uh, it's just so much fun to grab different styles of music and play to it, especially if you have the opportunity of uploading it to your channel and actually making money off of it. Now there is one little trick to the whole YouTube copyright thing and that is the fact that you have to have a certain amount of the song in the video for it to really register. Um, you could use just a very slight tidbit of a song as an example in a vlog that you're doing and you could get away with it. You know, I, I don't know the exact number, it's like five or six seconds or something, but usually under that it's okay because it, it's like 
fair use in, in a certain way because you're not actually using the whole song. You're not actually just stealing someone's work. You're just showing really quickly an example of something that you're talking about. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. So um, technically, in a lot of scenarios like the drum cover videos, um, even that is fair use. Uh, but there's so much legal battles in that area and that's why YouTube, like I said, has that hands-off policy where they're just like, record label gets all the revenue, you don't get anything and they can tell you to take it down and all that kind of stuff. And so one thing you really wanna be careful of though is copyright strikes. Um, there is the potential to have your channel taken down off of YouTube from those strikes. And I've gotten strikes in the past. Um, they kind of just come from nowhere. But one of the biggest things that they come from is if you dispute the copyright claim. I wanted to make sure that you guys know that you should never dispute the copyright claim if the copyright claim is correct. So, um, like, if you upload a drum cover of an ACDC song, and you think to yourself, oh, this is fair use, and then you go and click the dispute button, you say, fair use, blah, 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 and quote the little thing people put in their, their description all the time, um, there's a pretty good chance your dispute is gonna be denied and you're gonna get a strike. Um, I remember the first time that I learned that I could dispute something and it would put my video back up. Oh my gosh, I was like, sweet, I'm just gonna go dispute everything. And then all of a sudden, strike strike and I was like oh that is scary because three strikes and you are out it's like baseball you are done and um, that's not good because you know you hate to lose your YouTube channel especially if you've worked really hard at it and you've put up a lot of videos if it's your first video or your first three videos then not as big of a deal but um, yeah so be very careful of the copyright strikes do not dispute the copyright claim unless it is legitimately wrong if you have the license to have the song in the video or if the song that they're saying is in your video isn't in your video, be careful though, it could be in the background, it could be on a radio in the back or something that you didn't even know it was there, or you didn't pay attention that it was there. Um, if it's not in your video, then yeah, you can dispute it, but it still may not go very well for you. So be very, very careful with that subject and with that concept when it comes to putting out these videos. So I hope that has helped. Uh, I know it was very long-winded. I love to talk, especially on subjects that I am super interested in and mean a lot to me. And so uh, make sure that if you are interested in the royalty-free music, you can go and click the link in the top of the description and go get the free seven-day trial to Audioblocks. Um, you can also go to audioblocks.com future and check out all the new sci-fi and fantasy um, sounds that you have there available to you. Um, there's also some really, really cool sounds in the background of this video and tracks and all of those are from Audioblock. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave questions down below. I will answer as many as I can. Uh, I check my videos as often as I can because I'm very thankful for your support and um, I want to be helpful, you know, like that's what this video is all about. It's, it's about being helpful and hopefully answering some of your questions because I didn't know any of this stuff before I started YouTube and then I've tried to learn as much as I can. I've done research and I've watched other people's videos and so I like to be helpful when I can. So thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Bye.